The Bode Museum welcomes around a quarter of a million visitors annually. Its facade ranks among Berlin's landmarks. However, its history and the collections displayed within its walls are less well known. Yet the museum's past and present are directly linked to the history of Berlin. Like the city itself, the Bode Museum survived two world wars, National Socialism and Germany's division, and is now also confronting the ongoing challenge of the coronavirus pandemic. To better understand the museum and its role in society then and now, an exhibition is examining for the first time its fateful history from a critical perspective. The Bode Museum is the location of the sculpture collection and Museum of Byzantine Art. In allusion to Wilhelm von Humboldt's original exhibition concept, the presentation of the sculptures is complemented by some works from the old master paintings. The numismatic collection is presented in its own exhibition rooms on the first floor and includes a study hall, which is open to the public, immediately next to the vault in the basement. When the Bode Museum was first established, it was originally devised as a museum for the exhibition of paintings and sculptures. In addition, rooms were designed for the numismatic collection and the Islamic Museum. In GDR times, the museum came to house numerous collections, such as the old master paintings, the sculpture collection, the early Christian Byzantine collection, the numismatic collection, the children's museum, as well as the exhibitions of the Egyptian Museum and the Museum of Prehistory and Early History. The exhibition rooms of the Bode Museum are lavishly decorated, inspired by Italian Renaissance and Baroque. Wilhelm von Bode, the legendary director of the museum, had devised the building, which opened in 1904 under the name of the Kaiser Friedrich Museum, as a space for the sculpture collection and the old master paintings. The ground floor, whose rooms are illuminated by incidental light from the sides, was mainly used for the presentation of sculptures and selected paintings. The impressive skylight lit halls of the upper floor were primarily intended for the presentation of paintings. In contrast to the separation of genres that was customary at the time, Sculpture and painting were combined in manifold ways in the cabinets on the spree and cup for grave inside of the building. From the perspective of the Stiftung Preußischer Kulturbesitz and its museums, a joint presentation of the sculpture collection and old master paintings would be an ideal solution today as well. Hence, the foundation has proposed the idea to construct an extension building on the side of the museum courtyards opposite the Bode Museum. This would allow for the exhibition of works of both the old master paintings and the sculpture collection in dialogue with each other in an appropriate space. As long as this ideal solution cannot be realized, there will be more emphasis than before on exhibiting paintings in the Bode Museum and establishing a dialogue between paintings and sculptures. That way, there will be at least glimpses of painting as a key medium in the development of European art in the context of the museum island.